Hello there, welcome to the Egg and Gear Show. It may be raining outside, but it's sunny in here. This is the British Shooting Show 2020. I'm here on the Humorex stand, and Humorex have decided to change their colours. Um, but it's not what you're thinking. Basically, they've taken the Rotex, the RM8, which is a very popular rifle, and they've started to put some laminate stocks on it. And I actually think it looks rather, rather good. Now, for example, you've got the blue one here. Now, these are Minelli stocks. They're cut out cheek pieces. You've also got the adjustable shoulder pad, three-way shoulder pad at the end. That's all on board along with some nice stippling, but it really, really looks smart and suits the rifle. Now, let's be quite clear. This is the blue one. They've said that the blue one is coming out. They're looking at a retail price of around 1,100 pounds. It is a Manelli stock after all. They're saying that if they get enough interest, that price might come down a little bit, but they also have a yellow one on display and if I get my colors right, they also have a green one on display. Now that yellow and green is not confirmed. They're not saying that they're definitely coming out with those in any way, shape or form, but I think that they do look rather good. And I think it's a very nice way of refreshing that Rotex RM8. And when it looks that good, I'm sure it's gonna be very popular. Here on the Gamo stand, they've done some expanding. And what they've done is they've taken this 10 shot technology which is now called the Gamo Swarm technology, and they've extended it to the rest of the Gamo rifle range. Let me show you. So you've seen this one before, and this is the original one that came out with the 10 shot uh, technology on top. Now, what they've done is they've taken, as I've said, that technology and moved it to the rest of the range, and they're calling it the Swarm technology. So this is gas ram. This is gas round, but as you can see, this has got now a tactical stock to it. This one, which is the Rocket, which is the camo version, which is very nice, and it's a lot sleeker than that one. This is also a gas ram. Look at that, nice 10 shot gas ram rifle. And then when we go back to the board, the range is then extended, obviously, with that technology. So for example, down there, you've got the Whisper. That's a spring rifle but it's still got the 10 shot technology. And then I'm gonna walk you that way. Keep following me, keep following me. Can you see me? Then we go over here, past the noisy television. Then we have the Varmint, nice sporting style wooden stock, 10 shot swarm technology. We've got the Varmint Swarm Tactical. And then down here, and I'm trying to remember all the names, you've got the Varmint Swarm Barricade. Now, I think we've seen that stock configuration before, but not with the new Gamo Swarm technology. So there you go. Now retail in the UK, these are gonna be around 229 for the spring technology. Then if you're gonna go up to the gas ram technology, you're gonna be looking at around 289. But do remember that you do get a scope and mount included in every package. It's always good to do a quick fact check before you move on. I just want to point out some other features that are included if you go for the top of the range swarm technology. I'm going to go down the list. Patented Whisper Maxim Integral Sound Moderator. That's this bit here, okay? And it's all very cleverly chamfered at the end and there's some clever stuff going on inside. So you don't need to add an extra moderator. That's obviously already on board. You get a nice beach stock and you also get what's called the CAT Custom Action Trigger, and that's there as well. That means that you've got that nice smooth trigger when you're letting go of that gas ram system on top there. You've got, <clears throat> they call it an SWA shockwave absorbing butt pad. Let's be honest, it's a rubber shoulder pad. And you've got a nice adjustable cheek piece as well, which is always a nice feature on a Springer of that quality. So if you want a 10 shot rifle, Gamo, I've got lots of choices for you.
It's Travis. I know Travis. Travis cheated me in Vegas. There's Rossi. Ah, typical Rossi. Gets everywhere. What's this all about then? It's Rick. I know Rick. Oh, look at that. You can't get away from everyone. It's official. There is some big show new, and that is the FX now have a new official UK distributor and it's Sportsman Gun Centre. Now, I've been onto the stand and I've chatted with everyone on that and I'm looking at the product range and I'm going to say it out loud. If you need something FX, they now have it in stock. They have everything that you could be after, all the bits, all the accessories, everything that you need. And I know that the deal means that everything is going to keep coming into the UK. So, big show news, exciting news. If you are after an FX air gun, hopefully wait time has now been cut down because Sportsman Gun Center are the new official distributor. I have a very glamorous assistant here. Here he is, see? Now if I say the name Hunter's Vermin, there we go. Anyway, so this gentleman here, HV, is going to be my glamorous assistant. Now, what have we got first? Fixed so. Fixed, okay, so this is, well, it's, the, it's a dream line, but it's the dream light and it's the compact version. Look at that. Now, exciting thing. This is going to be sub 12 foot pounds. There is a small change from what you see here though. This is going to be a fixed stock. So it's not gonna be a removable stock. This is gonna be anti-tampered down, but it means that you can get that rifle with that nice, did we say 380 barrel? We did, yeah, yeah, our, our leader here says 380 barrel. So nice 380 barrel on the rifle, little cylinder on there, say 170, maybe 200 shots in 2-2. Nice side lever action. I'm not gonna cock it because I'm at the show, of course. And if you've got an FAC license, then you've got the option to make some other changes regulator-wise there as well. But other than that, what you've got, a nice fixed dream light, dream tack, compact i've got to get the right model and the right name out but there you go look at that super excited about that now glamorous assistant what else have we got balding telescope balding telescope look at that now here we go again what you've got to remember what you're seeing at the show here there are going to be a couple of little tweaks to this before it goes to retail i think there's going to be a couple of little tweaks but the general look of the gun is going to be the same and the encouraging thing is, from what I'm told, is that this is going to be a folding stock version for the sub 12 foot pound market, which is very exciting. So there we go. So you've got the Dream Light, I'm going to read the label, Dream Light Tactical Compact. Let's get it right, Giles. But there you go. So you've got that modular system, same sort of shot count as the fixed one, um, but super, super nice. What, what do you think, Glamorous Assistant? Will it fit under the jumper? It might do. Give it a go. <laughs> right? Which way are we going? That way? That way. find the way in to the day state stand it, it, it's here somewhere it's it keep keep coming with me no this is a war oh no 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 it's secret totally secret new, new wall yeah okay it's gotta be around there the entrance it's gonna be around there it's gonna be around there no no it's not around here it, it must be super secret, whatever it is. Keep going. No, I think, uh... <gasps> There's a hole in the wall. Yeah, I can, I can see a hole. Look. There we are. Mr. Vilas, how are you doing? Hello, Giles, you all right? Nice to see you again. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, found my way in, Tony. 
Yeah. Well, it's a way round, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, We've I got one entrance this year. They come into our village and see us village people. I certainly <laughs> burnt some village people, yeah. I certainly burnt some calories off finding my way in. Yeah. So go on then, what have we got? Well, this is the new Brocock XR. Yep. Uh, it's a side lever Brocock. Yes. Uh, something that the market has really gone to, as you know. Uh, so no more bolts, side levers. Uh, it's got some internals, different hammer. There's always one, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's got um, some new internals, a new hammer system. Yep. We put the folding stock on, the UK version for this year. Yes. So you've got that, nice and compact. Is that going to be sub 12? Yes, sub 12. Okay. This Lovely. is sub 12 one. Yep. Uh, we're also doing a carbine shroud on it as well, so nice and short if you want that. This is the full length shroud, would you believe? Yep. Uh, super light rifle, cut away the stock, give it a bit more flair. Uh, but the XR series really selling well around the world. This is yeah. a Cerakote sand colour version. Okay, so you can get those in uh, normal black? Normal black or, black. or sand, that's yeah. your two options. And does this side lever come in a different configuration? So can it come in a standard stock? So have you, have you changed that on the rest of your line? Yeah, everything. What we've done is that, uh, as you know, the range was developed from Compato and then on to Bantam and so and so. Yeah. What we've done with the XR series is we fought the whole lot together under one design concept. Okay. And you can change over different bits from different stocks. Right. So you can, you can uh, you, if you want a different butt, you can put one on. It's all AR compatible. All AR compatible So stuff, you've yeah. got all that systems that you can change. And price? Uh, about twelve fifty for this rifle here. Okay, and so you're getting uh, obviously US market is going to be the high power version. Yeah, we do a Magnum version with a longer barrel, with a sixty centimeter or twenty three inch yeah. barrel, and that gives you another ten foot pounds. So we're out to about fifty five foot pounds in twenty five caliber for okay. the export market. Yeah. Lovely, right? Lovely. Good to see you again. Yeah, I'm going to keep going, sir. Yeah. Yes, no, I'm good. Yeah. Good. You well? Fine. Yeah. Magic. stand now it's traditional i don't do this bit we go to someone who knows exactly what they're talking about so i'm going to hand you over to chris hi everybody uh, chris from hull cartridge varac uk uh, we're the official varac distributor for over 40 years and i'm here today to show you the varac hw110 laminate uh, this is the carbine version so it's a brand new design um, the rrp is 910 pounds they're available from sort of late march so i'll talk you through the features so we have an adjustable butt pad up and down a lovely scallop back end so when you're on shooting on the bench you've got something to grip hold of nice and tight obviously a lovely gray laminate stock with a thumb hole laser cut stippling here uh, removable bipod adapter on a weaver rail uh, based around the award-winning uh, radical ballistic polymer hw 110 um, with the weaver mount on the top comes with two 10 shot magazines and a silencer as standard um, I say available from March and we also have a full length version which I will now grab from my glamorous assistant. Thank you. Cheers Charles. Okay so this is a full length version of course same scallop back end and adjustable butt pad in this lovely grey laminated finish with the black side levers which we listen to you guys we listen to the feedback this is why we do the game fairs because we've got actually we really like black levers we've looked done it you've asked for a laminate stock you've asked for a thumb stop. stock we've done it for you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye bye. Giles, <laughs> lovely to see you as usual. Nice to see you, Terence. How are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. Now, very exciting here because this is actually something that I've liked the look of as we've gone round. You saw this at Shot Show, didn't you? I saw an under lever version of this. Right. Okay. Okay. But this is the PCP PCP yeah. precharged air gun. This this guy. So, Terence, tell us about it. So, Handle Outdoors recently got the Diana Agency for the UK. Um, this is the Mauser K98 replica, mm -hmm. um, as you can see, PCP, so yeah. fill port underneath, full power, so you're looking around 11 foot pounds, 177, yeah. 
a uh, 100 mil reservoir inside it. Mm -hmm. Not regulated, but yeah, it uh, looks. Look at it. Yeah, look it's at beautiful, it. isn't it? Yeah, it's great. I mean, if you're, you know, if you're into your replicas and stuff like that, and you're like, well, we never have had a good replica as, as a PCP. Well, now you have, this really is, I'm excited about this. I think this is it brilliant. It feels beautiful in hand. I yeah. mean, you yourself just I, feel I it. think this is absolutely brilliant. Wood's nice. It's all wood. You've got a little uh, pressure gauge on the bottom there. Gauge underneath, yeah. Gauge. It's a 200 bar max fill. Yep. So 100, as I say, 100 mil um, cylinder inside there. Yeah, nice and simple. Simple, bolt action, multi-shot. Um, I'll be it's, honest, I've had it a few days. It's got a single shot tray in there at the moment. Okay, but you but you think that there's going to be a, there's ma a magazine there as well. There is a magazine there that is goes a magazine with it. As well, yeah. Okay, so that's multi shot. I actually think the multi shot would ruin the look of it. That's just me. I agree, it looks beautiful those, the way it is, yeah. You've got those nice sights there. Yeah. Bolt at the back. Bolt action, obviously you, for your. You can put your straps, straps on. Straps on, yeah. At the side. Yeah. And I tell you what, you have to remember that sometimes you, you look at a replica and you're like, yeah, it just looks like. But this is. This is real wood. This is it the difference. Feels quality as well with the metal inbuilt, so it really does genuinely feel. Four hundred pounds. Yeah. So you just keep going and getting better and better, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> genuinely, like sometimes you say to yourself, "Would you give your money for that?" And yes, I, I would give my four hundred pounds for that because that really is. And I'll charge you four hundred for it as well. Yeah, you happily would, wouldn't you? Yeah. I think you'd charge me more. Probably, I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. I get a bill for 550. Obviously, put sights on it as well. And put a yeah. scope on it. It's so rail on. You put, yeah, but you just, you, you can. Wouldn't. Yeah, you, but wouldn't, you wouldn't. Because you just ruin it. Just ruin the look of it. There is a button safety on the trigger as well, which is quite nice, because obviously I'm always a, a fan of safety. But no, that is, yeah. I, I, you've got a little winner there. I think I, yeah. I, that's, that's a little barnstormer. There's going to be a lot of people out there that like that. Oh, God, this hurts my ass. This is... Really? Yeah, this is a smaller house. Yeah, I know, my back aches as well. Here we go, right. That wasn't cool, was it? Terence. Yes, Giles. Don't say yes, Giles. That's really bad. I like making you sound like a <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so I put that in and then now we can't have Make you sound like a beep. <laughs> 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 okay, right. Terry, baby. Yes, <laughs> Take three. <laughs> Terence. Yep. The Virtus. 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 Vir yeah. Take four. Terence. Yes. The Virtus. Yeah. Right. Let's just go straight with the elephant in the room because everyone knows what it is. That trigger. There you go. Yeah. Trigger. The trigger. So when it was announced in America, SHOT Show 2019 it was, yeah? Yeah. Um, everyone was excited for a semi-automatic self-indexing in inverted commas. With a big magazine capacity. With a 30 magazine, yep. BCP. Yep. Uh, let's be honest, we're still under review. Okay. Um, it's 30 shots. You can rattle it off in 12 seconds. Yeah. It's full power. It's not six foot pounds. No. It's around 10 and a half to 11 foot pounds. And it kind of looks like that. And it looks like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, company took the ethical approach of, do we want an air gun industry in this country? Absolutely. Yeah. And we thought about it and thought, yeah, we do. And we need to do something. Yep. Um, so to make it non um, semi automatic or self indexing. Yeah. Because, yes, it does fire from the strip, from yep. the magazine. Okay. Yeah. It's just literally flicking it. So you have to, you manually have to push that trigger forward after yeah. every shot. Now, yeah. Listen to what Terence is saying, because this is actually really important. We are in the UK. Our gun laws are completely different to the rest of the world. Well, pretty much, aren't they? Yeah. So you have to understand. And this is a high capacity magazine. We have to be reasonably sensible about what we do within the firearms industry. And with the, I mean, these guys can make guns that do all sorts of things, but we want to keep our sport. We want to keep the industry. Well, well, the definition of a firearm, I think, is anything over one foot pounds, if I'm right. Yeah, it's, and it's, then, it's all about length and size and, yeah, yeah. and, 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 and power. Yeah. Semi-automatic. It's what's a semi-automatic, what's self-indexing. Yeah. Yeah. If you rewind, it becomes a nightmare. Um, yeah. Let's be honest. There's too many grey areas. Yeah. Let's just take that away. We want to have fun. We know you want to have fun. Yeah. You can still have fun. Let's be honest, it, it, it's fun. Oh, I mean, I've, I've, I've tried it. You, you, I have tried it now. You pull the trigger, you push it, push it forward. It does become sort of kind of intuitive after the first few shots. And 
I would be absolutely honest, you might want to cover your ears for this Terence, I would rather keep the rest of the industry completely, totally and utterly than just have one rifle come in that does that, that causes us a problem. So yeah. it's great, it's fantastic and I, I love it, I think, I, think it's, I, I think it's superb. But yeah, there is, there, there is that trigger, but it is because these guys are actually protecting our sport. The price. Uh, Four hundred ninety-nine pounds. Four ninety-nine. Uh, it's very good. I got. I got to say, because what is the what's the CO two one? I can't remember off the top of my head. To be got honest, him. He's got, got him. me. He's got me. Too many guns to remember all the prices. Too many guns. We're upstairs now. We are. We can see what's going on now. I know. It's good, isn't it? It's great, isn't it? You could throw things at people from up here. No, but you could no. use you could use trials on Nico Sterling scopes or the ATN. Or... Oh, that's what we're up here yeah. for. Okay, fair enough. Right, next, carry on then. Yeah, What's yeah. this? This is a new Webley Raider. Okay. Yeah, Webley Raider Classic. Yeah. So newly released at this show. Um, it's a simple PCP. It's like an entry level PCP. Okay. Uh, 150 cc cylinder. Yep. Uh, one one seven seven or two two. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's 11 shot or 14 shot mag, depending on 2 two's obviously 11, yeah, 14, yeah. 177. Yep. Um, nice, simple gun. Um, okay. 449 pounds. What I do like, I think it's a great feature, is dovetail or picatinny. So you've gone for, yeah, I mean, this is becoming quite popular, actually, a way yeah, of doing yeah. this. Okay, so you've got different ways of mounting on top. Yeah, not Lovely. regulated, but it's an entry level PCP. I mean, as you know, we've got to play with some really nice guns over the last few years. Yeah. But the trigger well, on... I have. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would disagree. I would say we both have. Wow, you had a go. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, this is so staying in, you know that. It is, yeah. Yeah. But um, essentially... You. Sorry. He may have. That's your thing, but yeah. Sorry. It's the shooter that makes the gun, not the gun that makes the shooter I've sometimes. Seen you, I've seen you shoot Terrence. Yeah. Yeah. Not badly. The thing I like on this is the trigger, to be honest. I think okay. It's a really nice trigger for the thing, which is so important, as you know. Is the trigger adjustable? Uh, yeah, two-stage adjustable two trigger. Two-stage adjustable trigger. That's a nice crisp trigger on there. So, okay. Yeah. So short throw bolt on the side. It so is. it's not going to take a lot of work because it's sub-12. No, not at all. Very simple flip safety on the side. Nice and simple and clear. Yeah. Okay. Floating barrel on the top. Yeah. Comes either shrouded or unshrouded, you've got a choice. Oh really? So you can have a shrouded version on top? There's a shrouded version on top as well. Yeah. And you've got a thread on the end. You have. Do you know what? It's just people running running backwards and forwards on top of the bouncy floor, which feels like it could go over at any time, particularly with my weight. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's lopsided to that side at the moment. So if you do that again, take three. So All I'm saying is Celine Dion was singing as you're walking up. <laughs> Actually, we should stand at the corner of the thing and just do the... Ah. Someone get security and get him down, will you? So I'm here on the braces of Bristol stand and I bumped into this gentleman, which you might recognise, and this is Donny. Donny, good to see you. Good to see you again, Giles. Now, Donny is Donny FL, very well known for all his moderators, but you also do a lot of Sabre Tactical as Maybe well. Tactical, That's your yep. big thing at the moment, isn't it, yes. I think? So, so we're going to ask you a logical question. Yep. What's new? What's new? Well, you know, Sabre Tactical just came out like less than a year. And so I came back to uh, the British Food and Show to kind of show in person what, what some of the accessories that we came out with recently and one of the big things that came out this year is the ARCA rail for the FX Impact and this allows you to have a Picatinny rail uh, in front so that you can attach a bipod but the main thing that I like is the ARCA rail now for tripod especially like if you're out hunting yeah. and you want easy fast adjustments on the tripod yeah. this, this ARCA rail really allows you to do that and I'm looking at this and I'm like this is a nice 
chunky piece of kit. Yeah. And really easy to fit on to your existing impact. It's just four screws, is it, underneath? So yep. it's like underneath the trigger guard, yep. comes off and it just goes straight on. Exactly, there's no modifications needed other than removing the four screws, uh, the factory screws, yep. and screwing it back in with a new rail. Okay, so it's Picatinny. Okay, yep, cool. Picatinny Arca. Right. Yep. Arca, okay. So yeah, so that's really nice, the fact that you can mount that bipod so far forward on that pick rail. That is, yeah. changes the whole balance of the gun exactly when you shoot it yeah, yeah which is nice and then talking of balance of the gun we go back you've got the bag rider yeah the bag rider is mainly you know val simmons was actually came up with this uh in the ebr yeah um, and it definitely helps when you're shooting in competition and you need to do fast adjustments for different uh distance shooting yeah. and you put a bag here and you just move this thing back and forth and as you can see the gun is moving up and down. Yes. And then once you have it, you can lock it in with your elbow against a uh, shooting bag. Got you. Yeah. I mean, that was the big thing always with, with the impact is because it does have just this cheek piece and, and the shoulder part yep. at the back. There was nothing in between. And no. I like, I like a traditional rifle, I do. Yeah. So you can do that with a traditional rifle. Exactly. And now you can do it on the impact. Yes. Okay. Yep. So that's really smart. And then at the back, nice big, Big Chunky rubber shoulder pad, yeah, makes lots a, of adjustment. Exactly, it makes it uh, very easy on your shoulder, especially for long, long uh, shooting time. Yeah. And you can adjust it for different position shooting. If you're like more uh, stand oh, wow. up, like if you're standing up hunting like freehand, you yeah. can use it at different angles to help shoulder it better. But mainly for you know, or if you're laying down, you probably don't want it, so you want it like a straight, yeah, straight up and down. I just it, gotta, I just gotta cover that. That was so simple yeah you simply click that and move that yeah or main uh that's that's bonkers quick and easy yeah we we really emphasize on no tools for adjustments yeah we didn't want you know to be carrying allen keys to make any adjustments uh, when like when you're out in competition yeah so yeah i i gotta say i, I like that we'll get the camera to have a look, closer look at that in a minute that is really smart and yeah. it's a really nice grippy feel. rubber feel there that's going to sit well on your clothing or yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And then you've also got cheek riser. Cheek riser for, you know, some guys have prefer to use the higher scope mounts and this will help adjust your sight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Easy adjustments. You just re re uh, loosen these two screws, adjust okay. your height and then tighten it. Right. Again, because that was the thing that always was the impact is you had this, it was flat level, yeah. not forgiving or anything like that. Yeah. But now you've got the ability to to set to set your head where you want it to exactly. be. Exactly. Now that really is fantastic. Yeah. No, really, really good. And have you got anything exciting coming out the rest of the year? Yeah. You're very inventive with yeah. all your ideas. We have some really cool stuff coming out, but we're trying to keep it under control until okay. uh, Germany in two weeks. Okay. So we're going to see you at Iowa, Iowa. At the German show. Yep. You doing Armac? Doing Armac. Try, we, we actually tried to be there for our air gun community, so we tried to attend as much yeah. as possible. Yep. Yeah, he does. Donnie is one of these guys that if you email him, you get a response. He's yep. one of these guys that is so easily contactable, which is fantastic. Yep. Donnie, good to see you. Thank you, Jazz. Always Take a care. pleasure. I'm on the braces of Bristol stand, and look, I like FX air guns. Let's just be clear, and I like them because they come out with all sorts of things like this. Now look at this, this is a Mark II Impact, sub 12 foot pound, because we're at the British Shooting Show. But just take a look at this. It's got this 350 bottle on there. So you've got the short little bottle, most of the lightweight bottle. Obviously you've got a 500 barrel on there because sub 12 foot pounds. And then you've got that lovely little Donny on the front look. So it's a lovely, I think I keep saying lovely, it's a compact, Mark II, but it's for the UK market, which is lovely. We like that. Keep saying lovely. I'll move on. Then we've got this one down here, which has been tricked out a little bit more by Donny F. House. So you've got a nice forward pick rail there, which is very nice. Huge Donny on the front, which means that no one's going to hear you. Nothing's going to hear you when you shoot this. And then going down, you've got all this adjustability at the back through Sabre Tactical. It really is just fantastic that you can make small changes just by changing things like the bottle. And I'm gonna make Ben step backwards because I have actually fell in love. Here we go, are you ready? 
this one has taken my heart and it's this one look at that now this is a little dreamline compact tactical whatever i get my names wrong i was right it's a dreamline tactical compact but look at that nice little cylinder on the front utter overkill with donny on the front end i like that big chunkiness a little bit of uh cerakoting on the back on the grip foldable stock yeah that that's that's my gun of the show the problem is is that someone's already bought it that's the issue which means i've missed out but yeah i do like that right i know it's got to be there somewhere i'm looking for lily at the Optizan stand. Where's Lily? Ah, there she is. Hello, Lily. Hello, Giles. Hello, Lily. England. It again. Was, again. Well, it was Vegas again. last time. <laughs> Vegas the other week. Yeah, yes. now it's England. So, who's doing the video this time? Not me. No, not, not you? Me. That was my twin sister in Las Vegas. Really? Yes. Okay. She's an identical twin. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, so I'm not doing it, so who's going to do it? Stuart. <laughs> Stuart can do the video. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to notice with this scope is the compact size. It's only 24 and a half centimetres long and it weighs less than half a kilo. So, I mean, compact scopes are becoming a lot more popular. They fit really well with compact rifles. Um, the small form factor and the lightweight nature of them means there's not lots of weight forwards in the gun and it's, um, it doesn't affect the handling in the same way that a big heavy scope will with a large objective. The other advantage with this style of scope is the low parallax error. So what that means is if you set the, po the focus at 35 yards, you can shoot a target at 70 yards and at 10 yards and only experience a 0.5 of an MOA point of shift in your impact. So for HFT, that's absolutely ideal. It's worth mentioning also, they're centerfire rated and it's got an, a long eye relief, which is different to some of the other compact scopes on the market. Your eye's not right in close, so you can use it on a spring gun, you can use it on a centerfire. It's rated for a centerfire um, and it'll work really well with either an air gun or on a, on a bigger rifle. So the turret is designed with a 0.1 MRAD click and you get 10 mil of adjustment per turn. So it's really easy to keep track of where you are and count the revolutions. You've got really funky and tactile turrets and the zoom adjustment, really easy to use. Uh, it's supplied with a compact 32 mil sunshade and plastic flip up covers. The Optizan CP is also available in a 10 by 42 fixed power. They'll both be available from the beginning of March. There you are then. It has been a long but fabulous day at the British Shooting Show 2020. A couple of things I just want to mention to you. If you want to see the latest videos from the best creators out there in the world, then please have a look at airgun101.com. Failing that, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've enjoyed it even more, you can always subscribe. But it has been an utterly fabulous day. There's been Oh, let's see, where do we go? We've gone FX, Daystate, Virarc, Umarac, Umarac, you name it, and Optizan Scopes, it's been superb. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. Many thanks for watching. Cheerio.